When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 65 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. GH, biggest sporting event in Tucson and maybe in the state this weekend is <laughs> at Hillenbrand Stadium. Arizona softball taking on Oregon. The winner basically is takes the driver's seat in the Pac-12. Both teams are very, 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 very good. It's like, what, 15 varies? <laughs> They're both really, really, I mean, this is going to be incredible to watch. Last year, Oregon shut out Arizona three consecutive days in Eugene. That's right. That's how good Oregon was and has been now for five years in a row. Mm -hmm. what, didn't they win three straight Pac-12 titles? Yes, in the toughest league to win in all of softball. Yes. They probably have the best freshman pitcher in, in the West, mm -hmm. uh, so she'll pitch. Mm -hmm. And Arizona, you know, after getting beaten twice at Utah, mm -hmm. you know, a little vulnerable maybe? Maybe. Or maybe it's just one of those down moments in the season where you, you come back strong? Well, yeah, and looking at it, and, and I didn't pay too close attention to the Utah series, but I knew enough to know that it was cold. Yeah, it was. It was cold. Weather was weird, and, and fluky things kind of happened. I mean, it's not every day that you see Daniel O'Toole lose the lead in the seventh inning. It's not every day that you see an Arizona offense that's been incredible all year, really silenced. Uh, it could just be one of those fluky weekends in the Pac-12. It also could be that this is a moment of truth for Danielle O'Toole. Mm -hmm. Is she as good as Alicia Hollowell or Nancy mm -hmm. Evans or Jenny Finch? Because now she's going to have to be. Right. If she's not, Arizona cannot win the national title. Well, and to me, one, one of the big storylines that nobody really talked that much about this year was Taylor McQuillan. She was somebody who, yeah, okay, she pitched every third day. Mm -hmm. But she had something like an ERA of 0 0.6 heading into last weekend's series at Utah. She struggled so badly against the Utes that her season ERA nearly doubled. Yeah. And, I mean, still, a 112 or 115 ERA, pretty darn great. But, you know, you wonder both of those pitchers. You know, they have a lefty and a righty. No, lefty-lefty. Lefty-lefty, I'm sorry. You're right. With McQuillan. I mean, this is... Both of these pitchers could be superstars, but they both seem to really be struggling right now. Arizona didn't hit a home run in Salt Lake in three games. That's crazy. They were the most prolific home run hitting team in the country and one of the greatest in Arizona history, right. which is really saying something. Right. And suddenly it all stops. Right. And now they play a team I think is better than Utah. Oh, yeah. But they're home and they're miffed. Yep. And... They had a bonding bus trip to Las Cruces, New Mexico, yesterday. Right, and they and they swept there. Of course, and, yeah. Well, obviously, it's New Mexico State. But you're right, bus trip to Las Cruces, and then you talk about weather and stuff too. It's going to be hot. Two day games for ESPN too. Right, it's going to be hot. Their infield is going to be rock hard, like it always is. Always benefits the home team. Um, I would not be surprised to see at least two out of three, and maybe a sweep. Got to sweep. You don't have to sweep, but if Arizona's as good. Mm -hmm. As you think they can be, right. they got to sweep the Ducks. Right. And to me, the goal for the next couple of weeks is this, is position yourself to host and not only the regionals but the Supers. Arizona softball oh. right now is in that position, but that could quickly slip away if they, say, get swept. Arizona baseball, who plays Utah this weekend at High Corbett Field, in the same situation. You, you need to finish high enough that you're hosting both rounds in the postseason. Yep. Because guess who wins almost every postseason yep. series? Super, super regional. Super regional, always won by the home team. And the other little bit of drama to this weekend, uh -huh. Utah won the Pac-12 baseball title last year. That's they right. swept Arizona. That's right. That's and, right. They're, and they're pretty good, too. They're pretty good. A couple Tucson guys on yep. there, and a nice Tucson connection. So both of these events, the softball and baseball series this weekend, they're going to draw 20,000 people total. I know. Who would have thought, by the way, this is, I mean, a nice little renaissance for both Arizona softball and Arizona yeah. baseball compared to where we were a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's uh, this is one of the better weekends of the spring. Absolutely. We'll load up on sunblock, get a nice visor. What, what, what else? What else? Sunglasses? Yes, you need that, and uh, you need your ID card at High Corbett Field. Yeah, your ID, exactly. Make sure you're over 21. Uh, get your ID card. Do what, what we used to do in high school, which you do that with the collar. Uh, stay out of the sun because there are all sorts of six great baseball and softball games spread over four days this weekend, starting Thursday with an Arizona home game against Utah in baseball. And then Arizona, Oregon softball starts on Friday night. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. 
for Greg Hansen. What do you think happens this weekend? Uh, you know, Utah's got one really good pitcher. Right. They're going to need more than one. Okay. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. Thank you.